and we're back. <laughs> Who's introducing this week? Welcome to Rock, Paper, Hand Grenades. Nice my, job, nice job. My name is Eric Eastman. Uh, it used to be known as the Honorable Eric Eastman, but I'm trying to rescind that. It's not working yet, but we'll see what we can do. To my right is the Honorable Gary S. Hopper, currently serving the state of New Hampshire in his constituency as a state representative and the host of this show. Whew. Back those, to you. Those are a lot of words. Back to you, Gary. I do that a lot. So today, we're talking about the probability, what is the probability, and if I get this right, that Trump will not finish his first term, either he will resign and or be excommunicated. I, I think there, uh, wait, wait, by wait, the wait. way, I'm Jeff what? Gassell. Yeah, let's I'm introduce Jeff Gassell. Guests. Thank you for introducing me, Gary. I'm, I'm the local gadfly here in, uh, political gadfly here so in yes, Manchester. So, quickly state your, your th then we'll go over to Frank. What's your, what's your... Well, you know, you're, t you're talking about odds of, odds, of, right. of, of uh, Donald Trump completing his term. Correct. And Frank and I were, we're, we're talking first about term, right? Let's, I want to narrow yeah, this down. Yes, yeah, we were okay. talking about Whether or not he's going to make it to make a bet in the second term. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, no, you can't well, make a bet. Well, well you know, at, at this point, well, back when maybe by then the laws will change. After yeah, the if term. yeah, if the laws right. change okay. by then. Right. But anyway, so what is your yeah, after after Trump's lawyer last night? I think the the best person uh, to ask about those odds would be Stormy Daniels. She might have some uh, some insight into is that, how is that that very uh, well Trump Trump's lawyer Cohen uh, used his personal money. Right, right. Used his personal money, $130,000 in cash, set up a couple of LLCs, uh, corporations in Delaware, okay, okay. so he get, could move right, this right, money to her. Get, no, no, no. Jeff, you're getting, like, way off. Okay, so... You think I'm out in the weeds now? No. You can get out in the weeds in a second, but we want to start with your basic, your belief, or, if, like, if you guys were going to bet, what would your bet be? That he would either A... Did he would either a quit or uh, be uh, basically kicked out? What is what is what is your contention? I don't know how it's going to happen, but I think well, that Trump will really not finish his term. Okay, so so that's the premise, right? That's the premise. But what okay. if he just gets super sick, like he has a heart attack? Oh, know. if he had a heart attack, does that? Well, I'll take it any way it comes. No, wait, you know, wait, wait, wait. heart no, wait, attack. Wait, wait. No, no. Aren't you a compassionate American. Uh, if 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 you two were to bet. The bet is he is either he either quit, or or is uh, impeached, impeached, or or otherwise kicked out of office. I like the word excommunicated. Pre I pressured. I, I think he word. will be pressured out. I mean, we've never okay. actually okay. In, okay. in resignation. So yeah. now, Frank's the honorable Frank. Over Separato. to honorable Frank Saporetto, also serving the state of New Hampshire in his constituency in the state house, from from the big city of Derry. That's or right. Still a town. <laughs> and Although we're larger than most any, anyway, so what is your is that is that is that agreement? Or? See, I, I believe that he will neither resign because he's he's not a quitter, right? And and uh -huh. also he won't be impeached because the public won't okay, allow so it. So what happens? Much done. What happens? Like let's say if if in theory you guys were going to say gamble a huge quantity of money because anything over ten bucks is a huge quantity of money to me. Anyways, let's Fair let's, enough. let's say you were at the going limit is six dollars New Hampshire for. Right, anyway, let's solution. say you were going to have this 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 gentleman's bet. So the bet is that hypothetically, he, right? Hypothetically, very good. That he is going to be either forced out, uh, resignation legally, or yeah. re resign. Well, there's only two ways he can be removed. No. The third way is he could have a cotton pick and heart attack and have to resign. Which take be take note role. of the background well, then image, still resigns, uh, audience. Said, that's still one of the two. Very important. Time. So, so you don't care what way he resigns or why he's right. out of office. No, re, right. there's well, no, there's well no, I mean, if he's God forbid, he's hurt. I don't want it. Well, we've heard from his that. doctor that he's his, he's he's the most healthy president in the history of the United States. Okay, so. That's if a big he statement. is, if yeah. he is okay, so this is this is. I'm going to narrow it down further. Well, the youngest was very healthy. <laughs> the second. Anyway, youngest, actually. this is the deal. Yeah. So if you guys were going to bet, the bet would be if President Trump is it still in office at the end of January uh, of uh, December two uh, two thousand twenty. No, I bet was that he won't be resigned and he won't be impeached. He's still in office until his term is up. Mm -hmm. You win. Without resignation or impeachment. Correct. Yeah. Now, if he is, if, if God forbid something happens to him beyond his control, like, you know. We didn't get into that. Okay. But I would say that nullifies the bet. We're talking about legal means. 
Yeah, legal. legal well, I mean, for example, a, a political assassination that, that wouldn't that really that really wouldn't count no. as an equivalent okay, so, to all impeachment. Right. All right. Okay, so you both okay, agree. Okay, okay, Brute. We'll, we'll, we'll okay, get to that okay, later. Okay, Brute. Okay, so now it's fanatically. Jeff, let's go. Let's I love go. my president. I don't want anything to happen to him. Well, okay. So why why do you believe that he absolutely positively? Are you willing to take this gentleman's bet? Well, you know, you have to understand that when we started talking about this a few weeks back, it was on Facebook, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie, I, I had a few cocktails that night. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, doesn't everybody who gets into it on Facebook? I mean, Saporetto, he claims he doesn't drink, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie about what I do. And I buy the absolute cheapest stuff when I drink because it's all alcohol. It's all the same. Yeah, right? exactly. Why, why it's supposed to hurt it's when it's going down. So you're exactly. on a toxic website getting more toxic. Well, you know, <laughs> sitting in your chair. I've lost about 60% of my friends on Facebook with this Trump How'd position. that happen? <laughs> I'm still I mean, it's unbelievable. Just because we, they are on the, they're on I mean, the I've been called every hey. name. Look, even, even Frank calls me. Hey, if it doesn't burn no, on the way down, snowflake. it's not That's alcohol. That's only when you got all sensitive. I call anybody who's overly sensitive a snowflake because they don't it's, it's a little, you have to admit it, it it's an attempt to diminish your opponent. No, if no, I was, no, I'd use one of the words we can't use on air. It's just, <laughs> it's just one of those things. You can use it on Facebook, though, right? Yes, you can. Yeah, <laughs> but I never do, if you notice. I've anyway, anyway so, that. so that's your contention. But when we started talking about this, originally it was like a, a hundred dollar bet or a dinner. Was that? Was what a, it was? Uh, no, I wanted to bet you that after every one of your posts, you had to put "Make America Great Again." Trump is the best president we ever had. Yeah, I think month, I, I said you I had to do that. You would never do that. I, 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 so I, so I said, well, then I, apparently you, you, you feel that your position is so weak. You would back it up. I said, I'm going to do that. So you want to make it money? <laughs> well, see, people think I hate Trump. I don't. I, I think Trump is performing a tremendous service to America now. And I'm not trying to be sarcastic by saying this, uh, because people are watching. And, and Trump, as Trump said before, how about making America solvent again? How about that? You know, that's the slogan there. Make yeah, America be great. Make, make America sane again. Come, I like come, it. Come I like it. As a matter of yeah. fact, this week on a, on a sidebar this week, uh, it was stated in, it, it, I, I believe, a grand jury investigation or some kind of highly official testimony up on the Hill that the number one threat number one security threat to the U.S. is its debt. That's right. Is its spiraling debt. Sorry to distract from what you were saying, but that's an important point. I'm and, glad you and, raised and, it. And, and Trump is actually highlighting that. So in many ways, Trump is performing a public service with his presidency. People are actually talking, not the Republicans, but the Democrats are starting to talk about the debt, and, and they're as big an offender as the Republicans. Yeah, well, the only been. reason they're talking about sure. the debt is because I mean, you got one, one party is the to. party <laughs> of war, <laughs> and the other party is the party of welfare. And between the two, between the defense budget and the welfare budget, they're roughly equivalent at about eight hundred billion a year. Well, it's interesting when you count welfare everything. and war because all previous debt, national debts we've ever incurred, have always been removed with war. It's, hey, it's just the way it's removed. always gone. So regardless anyway, of Frank, can you was. quickly articulate why you believe that there's no way in a snowball's chance in double this, the Stygian the deep, double hot stick, hockey sticks, <laughs> <laughs> that he will it's not snowball's chance on the river sticks. Well, yeah. you know, he's not a quitter. Right. He's already weathered everything, and all the all of the the uh, the, the, the uh, tax that you have now, where fall, the men falling by the wayside. You know, here and there, and the worst that they've been able to throw at him, he's weathered completely and only gets stronger to the point where now most people understand that they expect the, the press to, to, to come up with something outrageous against him because that's what they do, regardless of its truthfulness. So I think that's why people say, oh, it's just they're just Trump bashing again. And it's interesting. If you watch national propaganda radio, or sorry, you listen to it, that you hear every story is anti-Trump, anti-Trump. You mm -hmm. turn look on the Manchester Union leader. You look on the pages, you can see the Washington Post, something bashing. All their articles that bash them are all written by Washington Post or something, or Reuters. So, I mean, we expect those type of things. So who believes us? But he's always been able to weather those storms because he gets the things that are important done. What's not, what is not important is what happened, okay, what he got okay. for his grades in grammar school, or who he may have slept with 15 years ago. Or all, I don't care about that stuff. I didn't hire him to do to be a nice guy. I hired him to take care of the uh, foreign policy, number one, and take care of Rocket Man, which he's doing a great job at. We finally got somebody with a chutzpah to stand up against them. He's also to finally gotten NATO members to kick in their fair share, finally, because now we've got a president that they're afraid of, and he's rebuilding the military. So he's... I mean, he's doing yeah, everything that he promised to do, just and he's draining second, the Frank, swamp. Frank, just a sec. Go ahead. All right. It's a good thesis. Sounds pretty solid. We have a caller. We'd like to bring that caller on the air. This is Norm who's going to be joining us. Howdy, Norm. 
Welcome to Rock, Paper, Hand Grenades. What do you have to say? Hey, um, uh, Trump is doing an awesome job. How you doing there, Gary? And that's one of the things I want to tell you. I don't hear too many people complimenting Sununu, and I think Sununu is doing a heck of a job for the I state is. of New Hampshire. Yes, he is. You're absolutely right. You know, look how we shook out the mental health department, the the one at DYS, DYS, what do they call it, and also all the abuse problems that are going on. He is really shaking up. Look at and look at that mess that the Democrats left for him to clean up, and I think we ought to pay him one compliment too. Hey, hey, uh, Dave. Thank you for listening. To hey, Norm. What do you think the odds that he'll uh, you, you'll he'll make it through the uh, till 2020? Oh, definitely. He's going to go. I actually look at do it four terms. I mean, three terms. Three terms? Are you talking about Sununu now, or are we speaking yeah. about the U.S. president? Yeah. Yes, Sununu. No, Sununu. Yeah, okay. wrong, no, sh- wrong no, show, no, Norm. It's okay. No doubt in my mind. He's my hero. No, 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 no. We're, we're talking about Trump. Don- we yeah, we Donald, appreciate that. Donald Trump, do you think he'll make it two terms or just one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at two terms with him. All right. Okay. Thanks, Norm, yep. for your Thank contribution. You. Actually, he'd be in there cleaning up the mess, and I would hope that the people in this state would recognize the me- what, what the job he's doing for our state. Excellent. Appreciate your contributions, Norm. Thanks yeah, for joining thank you us. for bringing that up, too. i got to agree. Thank you. And dealing with this uh, a governor, he's an MIT graduate. He picks things up really quickly. If you have a meeting with him and discuss a new topic with him, he retains that knowledge. He's very sharp. I mean, we haven't had someone that sharp in a while. Well, actually, one of the things I really love about him. His father him, was an MIT graduate, too. Fact, yep. I think he taught at MIT, didn't uh, I don't know. Hey, Sununu S- Senior taught there? He may have, but I'll tell you, he's, smir- he's I mean, great to work with. But, um, I mean, Governor Sununu? No, as, as far as Trump goes, uh, one of the things I really liked about him is, you, you know, Al Baldessaro, he was actually willing to work with us peasants up in New Hampshire on different issues and actually talk, and there was actually input back and forth mm-hmm. on, on issues. He didn't, he just, he didn't, uh, he didn't dictate what we were going to believe. He actually was responsive. It was actually yeah. pretty cool. This yeah. is Donald Trump, you speak Donald of. Trump. Right. Yeah. It's very well, was he your you first pick? TV. No. Who was your first pick? Ted for, Cruz. Ted Cruz, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Same with uh, same with you, right? I, I did like him. I was not on the Trump train. What, what made a big difference to me is when I went to see him in person. And at Pinkerton, I say this story over, I, I wasn't really on board with him. But at Pinkerton, I was listening to everything he said. I was 10 feet away from him. Mm-hmm. And I liked what he said. I agreed with all the things he said. And he said things that, that I really admired because you don't say that as a politician because you really want to tell the crowd what they want to hear to get them to go with you. And he wasn't doing that. He just told it like it was. Like reminded me of McCain-esque around 2000 when he went to the Portsmouth Table Shipyard. So I'm thinking of this. I go home, and then I watch on CNN, and I changed NBC, and everything that he said was twisted. It wasn't just misconstrued or misunderstood. It was twisted to mean just the opposite of what he was saying. And everything that they tried to purvey to the watchers of those shows was not what he said at all. Oh yeah, I know. So I'm thinking, why are they? Why would these what we've always considered to be credible media sources? Why would they want to mislead everybody? Why? What's going on? So I look more into what his positions were and yeah. see why. <laughs> you know, he's the really deep state great. is controlling the mainstream media. What did you call NPR? National Pub- National Propaganda, propaganda Radio. Radio. National Propaganda <laughs> Radio. Now oh. we've never had any propaganda from well, wait, Rupert wait, wait, Murdoch's. Wait. TV and radio no, stations, no. So, have we? So, so Jeff, so my, my son is in high school, okay? He's in school. He comes home. He's wicked bad at me. <laughs> so what's, what's, what's the matter, buddy? He says, I always thought it was national propaganda radio. I didn't know it was actually na- national public radio because <laughs> I have never – I don't call it national public radio. I always call it national – so, so at your Most house, in order to actually get propaganda. dinner at your house, you have to swear allegiance to the Republican Party. You don't have to swear, but if you want second, <laughs> <laughs> you don't get. To, if you're not a Republican, here's an easy way. You don't to, get you know, the easiest way to see the news sources, though, who, who's telling you the truth, is that if you watch something at one channel and everything, I mean everything, you've got to listen to it for hours, and it's the same thing: Trump bash, Trump bash, Trump bash, just bashing them on every every. Try to even the things that have nothing to do with them. Try to bring it around to bash them. Well, and then if you watch Fox, 
this is 60-40. I agree that it'll be probably more than, than positive than negative, but, it's, but at least they tell you both sides. It's, you're not going to listen to a, 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 you know, a, a full hour of compliments. You're going to hear both sides of I things. Think that's and true. I don't see any of that on those other stations. So, I'll, But, I'll but people, you, it's all they get is those other stations. You know how, how easily you can make this obvious, how obvious this is? And everybody in here remembers this. I don't, I don't pay attention to first ladies. I don't really care. It's not something that's relevant to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, but when Obama got elected, Michelle was the most beautiful woman on the planet. Every time she showed up in a dress, it was a great dress. Every time she, you know, the, the woman could pass gas and they'd be saying how flowery it smelled. It didn't matter what she did. She was beautiful. She was smart. She was articulate. She was, she was just great and everything else. There isn't, Melania Trump is, is a classy, cotton-picking woman. Yeah. Oh, speaks the best five, thing about the languages. Trump presidency. Exactly. It could be. Educated, could well-educated. Be. Wicked's just, uh, very speaks smart. five languages. Yeah. Five yeah. languages. Yep. Yep. Frank can barely handle English. I, 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 it's <laughs> true. I was well, six years of Latin. I was with him last why. week. <laughs> and, it's having and, trouble with him. Yeah. So the, the fact that they, the way they cover her it shows you their, their prejudice. Because even if they hated Trump... Why are they tooling on Melania all the time? Any criticism Easy they target, can. convenient target. They, exactly. do, they actually don't talk too much. I, I, they you know, did it I am guilty of watching the mainstream media, and occasionally I watch national prop. I listen to national propaganda radio. Right. And they don't really talk about Melania too no, much. No, they don't. No. Nope. And to I, their credit, I, that's I, true. I would, well, I would she's say still part that of the protected her, classes. Her popularity numbers. I bet they exceed her husband's. Oh, I would think. And practically everybody if else. If you're gay cabin. or you're black or you're uh, uh, some minority or whatever, too, you're part of the protected classes. If you're a white Republican male, you're a fair game completely. Oh, so yeah. you th- you're saying there's discrimination if you're oh, a white would, male? Oh, well, all the cases now against women, you know, for sexual harassment proves me wrong, doesn't it? Well, wait a minute. Maybe there's something to those cases. Oh, I know. I'm just waiting for one to be pre- to be pressed against a woman. I haven't seen one yet. You know, I'm I'm actually thinking of starting a second career as a porn star because apparently you can get one hundred and thirty thousand dollars from a Jewish lawyer uh, just for your signature. You know, there's a niche market in there in that uh, talent I'm, I'm pool for you. I'm looking at you. Looking at for you Jeff. It really is. But but you got to you got to keep the look. You got to yeah. keep the look. Well, it's a, it's a You might want to put look. a couple of fishing you know, lures up here. Yeah. Just you know, to really sell it. Uh, it's just another 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 uh, shot of mud that they can throw at the president. Yeah. You know, go ahead. That's what they love. They, you know, that's, you that's know, what they, the you know Frank, I'm going to tell you this. It really doesn't take a lot of imagination. Oh no! Of course, because once you start one, you could go on with another one. Before you know, he probably started the he entire just rolls over me. He's, he's like, he's I just know. like, he's just like Hannity. Hannity no, he you makes ever watch him. To all, you know, somebody try. He, Hannity asks a question, and then somebody starts to answer, and Hannity just. Just covers them, you yeah, know. Just I know. talks it's, it's, over them it, like like a like a tidal wave. You have the mute button. That's what works better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is, he loves. It. See, I, I've got the same affliction you do. It takes me too long to get a point out because I like to say a lot of stuff. You and do. Uh, he makes his point in short bursts. So you're up against Tommy Gun. So, yeah. You know, you got well, to change. Got to change it up a little bit. Yeah. Boom. I, I don't even remember the point I was making. That, that, he's <laughs> <laughs> he's I rest my case. <laughs> okay, okay. Another he's not re- Italian. It helps. <laughs> we grew uh, up that way. Another re- uh, t- give me ice. another reason why yeah. you believe that he, uh, besides the uh, the lady of the evening, what what reasons do you have to believe that he absolutely will be impeached and or forced out of office? Well, I. I, I have noticed, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Frank hasn't noticed this, but I did notice that four people from Trump's campaign got indicted, and and uh, you know while there's fake news and there's propaganda news, yeah, and and there's, and there's and setups, there's the fake prosecutors that actually aren't yeah. doing their job, they're just trying to harm Frank's personal hero and yours, Donald J. Trump. Right. I do think that they're actually trying to do some work. And I'm going I'm to say this about Donald Trump. While I, th- I, I am going to praise him for bring, bringing a lot of important issues uh, in front of America with his style, um, I think he made a little tiny, teeny mistake when he started attacking the FBI, the CIA, and uh, and the Justice Department, because these are serious people. These are serious cops in the, F- in the FBI, <laughs> and they have serious tools. Every email, every every post, 
every Facebook uh, notation, uh, every phone call. They've got everything under the Patriot Act. They have, they have stored all this information. Jeff, so, did you ever study at J. Edgar Hoover? J. Edgar, I, I saw the movie. Yeah, yeah. I saw Beyond the movie. the movie, did you ever find things he did, tapping, what his, well, what his agenda that, that was? Is a, what that is, you're right. That is a stain on the FBI. And, I'm and not, that, I'm compared not, I'm, to today, I'm not, is like whitewash. Let's, <laughs> it's let's assume child's the FBI. Play. Exactly, it's child's let, play. Let's assume that the FBI is crooked, Okay. I'm not, not saying. Not all of them. I'm saying, I, I don't believe the upper, that. The upper part. What I'm saying is that when you're dealing with the FBI, you're dealing with serious cops. And if they want to, even if they want to frame you, they can do it. What branch of government do they fall under? It's under the executive branch, but uh, there's, it's Who's limited. The executive but, branch? <laughs> one of the problems Donald Trump is having is he's attacking his own appointees to the Justice Department. That's fine. And he's attacking the FBI, and and when you do that, you don't you don't when really you insult when you call when you call the director of the FBI a nut job in front of the Russian ambassador and Russian officials, you're taking serious risks. There are a lot of people that, in the FBI that will take offense at that. Bro, you fired Comey. He fired Comey, and he, he has every to, right to do it. And Comey, he said exactly that. He they said all serve at the pleasure of the president. That seems to be what we're forgetting. We're yeah, forgetting what our Constitution says too remember, often. Do you remember mm -hmm. what? Um, who's who's the uh, the guy that worked for Obama that went over to Chicago to become a mayor or whatever the hell it is? Rahm Emanuel. Rahm Emanuel yeah. was Attorney General, right? Never let a disaster, disaster go to waste. Disaster, good disaster right. go to waste. That's right. <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? No. Ultimate no. He said when cynicism. he was in when he was served under president, he called himself uh, the president's wingman. Yeah. So yeah, it's the truth. Like he was. Yeah. And the thing is, the media is like all upset because people aren't being. Lo uh, Trump expects a certain amount of loyalty for the people working with him. Yep. And you mean like absolute loyalty? Under no circumstances <laughs> right. are you to ever say anything. No, I'm just saying. I believe that he respects those who follow in line with the Constitution. He's more of a constitutionalist than the last president. Oh, yeah, I wonder when he read that. That's not a real stretch there, but I'm with <laughs> no, you. But I mean, they're, that's no, part I, of their analysis. Job is to I don't hold think that. Trump has ever read the Constitution. Frankly, neither have I. <laughs> so I mean, it's not. Well, much we of have, a, and, I, and, and, and what accusation. bothers me is that the youth of this country don't understand it. When when I go online or on Facebook and I see kids that are maybe 18, 20, 24 years old, and exp and explain to me that hate speech is is uh, is prohibited in the Constitution, that tells me they didn't learn the Constitution. They forgot it since the fourth grade. And I'm th I'm very thankful that Senator D'Alessandro beat me to the punch by putting in a bill that requires high school students to pass the same test that that uh, immigrants do. To a knowledge of the Constitution and, and what it writes. That needs to be taught in high school so when they're adults they understand it because they're they're wrong. They're forgetting that what what's, what I might disagree with you at the top of my lungs, and we do sometimes, yeah. but I'll defend to the death your right to say what it is, regardless None. of what it is. Have you heard regardless of it, it offends me. Wait, have you heard some I of will not he defend <laughs> to, to the death Frank's right to say anything. And I won't the, do it. There's the difference I never between said it, the, he the did. current liberals and, and those who understand the Constitution. <laughs> that's that's what's what's important is to be able to do that. You no one has the right not to be insulted. And that's why I got a problem with snowflakes, because they're the they're the enemies of the First Amendment. I think I'm offended. I didn't well, even know what a snowflake was. Do you know what a snowflake yeah, is? What is it? It is somebody that is that is so um, easily flustered that they melt away i see that's it but that's they it. are supremely unique and you need to respect that and not challenge it that's so right. that they do melt that there, why would you make that melt is different than the others that's right it's a <laughs> diversity thing yeah so anyway so you believe for what reasons i, I lost track because i was doing i, I think i i, my I mind think was somewhere the special else prosecutor is developing information okay you understand that the the indictments that he's brought down he hasn't brought anything down. Well, he, indictments against people That's against true. Trump, That's right? right? There's some other people. There's right. Flynn, right. which um, the basis for the entire Flynn, the investigation to begin with, was the, the, uh, the uh, Steele dossier, and that has turned out to be a total lo load of BS. And it's very likely most of those things are, are going to be thrown out because you can't use... It's like, in other words, if he, if, if, if uh, Eric is driving down the road 
and they search his car without a warrant and he doesn't give permission, any evidence they get, regardless of how substantial, is not admissible and the case is thrown out. So all the information that they've got about Trump so far is not admissible in court. Well, because you that was last week's news, no, no, the no, FISA no, warrant. no. Well, the the FISA week. warrant is, is is that to me it's not about Trump anymore. It's it's about right. the FBI people in the FBI using a fabricated dossier to get search warrants on a, an American citizen. Forget about Trump. Let's say just like Watergate, getting no, something on the other party. Okay, let's say this was. Mm -hmm. Let's say this was. Well, if 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 they were indicting Carter Page, you might have a point. Okay, let's say this was nine years ago. Okay, and Bush used the used uh, the FISA courts to investigate and wiretap President Obama because of his quote unquote Muslim connections and found all kinds of information. And some of it was kind of not really that big a deal, but they decided to prosecute him anyway. And if they used a false document to get that FISA warrant, how would you, how would, where, I mean, this is, this is huge. That's the reverse well, of what's going it, on it, now. I, I think the dossier was never purported to be the absolute truth. And what what they were it trying was, well, it they was did. used to get the FISA. Right. They that, said that, that without true. that document, that the FISA doc, it was, the FISA court would never been granted. The FBI would never been granted permission. Well, I you know we don't know what the Democrat uh, version of uh, of their interpretation is because it hasn't been released yet. I wonder. But why. my understanding <laughs> is that a, a judge decides whether they're going to issue a warrant. And and uh, even though these FISA Based courts on. tend to issue the warrants ninety nine percent of the time. <laughs> Uh, that judge is probably going to be asking questions about the basis for the warrant. Is there probable cause? And and a uh, a, uh, Especially a, a document produced uh, w and paid for by, uh, by which the Democrats, which wasn't disclosed to him. Well, it, it actually, it, I, I, I'm told it was disclosed. He says it right on the report. It was no. Who says was, it? The, 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 the judge. No, no, it, the, it, it was a written request. Yes. And it is in the written request. But it is, you know, I only know this because I watch mainstream media. Sure. You know, which is, you know, they have their own slant Dude, on this it. This is a key point. But it was well, they actually. actually right, look at how they found point. out, exactly how they found out. They have, but of course fight. the judge so is going saying, to ask Are you saying questions. there's alternative facts? There are alternative <laughs> facts. But I, would, I thought she was brilliant when she said that. And everybody made fun of us. I, no, I, I got Kelly it, actually. Conway for saying that. No, and I a, thought she a, was right. It's a reasonable point. Let me go back to what you were saying about the, the process by which these, these FISA warrants are, oh, are granted. You know, this is not a run-of-the-mill warrant. This is not a run-of-the-mill event. This is a media circus, and the judge would have known that. That's Why right. would the judge not have exhibited the kind of due diligence that would have been career-defining in preparing for like whether or not to grant this warrant, such Page, as reading the document right. to begin with, right. which he's gone on record, or apparently, the finance for the having claimed that he from, didn't see it. And who ordered it? So sure why would the done. judge not demonstrate right. that level of due diligence? Well, Tell maybe me. maybe he didn't feel that uh, his... He didn't feel it was necessary to actually read the dossier. I don't know whether he read <laughs> it or not. I don't know if he read it or not. I mean, th this is the problem. Here's, here's another Here, he, he, Apparently he says, I didn't, I didn't see that, but you, you say you saw a statement well, saw made the, by him that he didn't see it. what they had disclosed and what they had not, and that was not disclosed. Well, you know, okay. <clears throat> everybody's right got That's an That's interesting. Angle. Everybody's, you know, the Democrats have their angle. The Republicans have their angle. Always. And, and, and. Uh, well, mine's simple to disprove, Jeff. You can disprove mine. Prove yours. Disprove it. In other words, show, it went on by by, by looking at by the, the documents that were presented to the court, uh, FBI, if they had disclosed it in their documents, you could, you know, did they did they? But you you understand, of course, that that the FBI and the Justice Department has been very uh, loud in their complaints that if they disclose this information, it's going to. Uh, uh, make public things that they want to have kept secret. Oh, like 30,000 emails? No, it's got nothing to do with it. It's got nothing to do with it. He's, he's in the weeds again. He's Listen to this. He's, 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 you know, he's in the we weeds. Talk about it, maybe he's talking about the emails. Hey, about six or seven things may have gone by, but meanwhile over you here, can't talk about bucket loads. <laughs> hey, that's what happens. No, as soon no, as wait, anybody wait, says No, anything, no, no. Hey, Jeff, <clears throat> Jeff, I want to go back to the Pfizer thing. He's rope-a-dope. How you. much... <laughs> <laughs> how much how much do you think the judge 
let's let's say the judge saw the warrant. I don't I don't believe you're correct because I believe the judge initially rejected it, the the application. But that's old memory, so I'm not positive. But anyway, regardless, the judge gets gets the the FBI goes to the judge and say we want a FISA warrant. How much do you think that judge does not give a rat's butt about the law because it's a FISA court, a secret judge on a secret proceeding, and he doesn't think he's ever going to be called to task for it anyway? Is, isn't, that a, isn't that a profound and direct threat to liberty? Well, I, I, I'm not question. a big fan of the Patriot Act. Yeah, I, on okay. the other hand, you know, we don't want to have another 9-11, so I understand the balance here. But you've got to understand that it, let's say that they were looking at Am I at possibly correct? You, you are possibly correct. Let, 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 but let's look at what happened. There, there's a warrant uh, to look at Carter Page. That was the original warrant, right? And they wiretapped other stuff. And they, and they stuff. renewed yeah. that they warrant. They wiretapped other stuff, too. It wasn't well, just that. They probably have. Uh, I, I don't doubt that. When, when Trump said that my wires were tapped, I thought there might have been something to that. It's actually kind of cool that he knew that that far back because everybody mm -hmm. laughed at him. Well, Remember I mean, the... Obama didn't tap it. I mean, it wasn't Obama that did it. Yeah. I don't think he was you out of the loop. You don't think he was aware Come that on. they were? I, I that's like hard Nixon didn't know the water was out of either. Okay. He is not a crook. Maybe there's a technical way so for you Obama to say he didn't really know plausible anything Plausible deniability. So you don't sort, think yeah. Obama knew about the wiretapping, and you don't think Obama had, had I don't any, know how, I don't, any knowledge that I the don't NSA know. was, I mean, the, the IRS is going to be know, used to attack. I don't know, and neither do you, <laughs> whose wires got tapped by who, because this information is secret. We don't know it. And should it now, be? Well, you know, I'd be more comfortable <laughs> talking about something that we, where we actually had facts instead of sure. Frank Saperetto's opinion, whoa, which he, which he freely... Well, no, you're giving an opinion, too, because we're speculating about the basis upon which the judge granted the, the warrant, so... It's a warrant for Carter Page. That's what it was. That's the what parameters was. of which have been, have been pushed. There's we don't a know lot that. of mission We don't know there, that. Apparently, apparently Papadopoulos... Uh, was also part of that warrant. <laughs> now we know how the Russian okay. how the uh, but, Russian phone call got but, out. <laughs> but 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 I will say I will say that that conversation that went on in the White House where he called Comey a nut job. Yeah yeah yeah. With, with the Russians in there, which that meeting wasn't announced. Um, they did have a verbatim transcript of that meeting. And I did wonder where that came. From. Sure. Huh. Huh. And where did the, where, how did they know so the where are, the getting, the where are they the getting? Where are they getting the exact words of what went on apparently in the Oval Office? Is that is that uh, that's, not, that's not a public meeting? Surveillance as well. That's some sort of surveillance somewhere. And it's something to connect dots. But these ones are right next to each other. I'll tell you something <laughs> else that I don't think anybody else has pointed out because I am a genius, I, right? Okay, so I wouldn't I'll be, be here otherwise. It's, it's not I in think dispute. You're no, it's not in dispute. Right? It isn't right. <laughs> Basking in the radiation. I know, I know, it's amazing. Er erudition. No, I, sure. I, I, it's so full of uh -oh. crap, I lost. He lost his kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used too oh, many yeah. syllables okay, okay, okay. and the genius Sorry, got lost. Yeah, back. Back. Okay, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I get it. All right, fine. The, the uh, Congress was writing their memo, right? They had it written and it was sent to President Trump for his okay. Which one, the Democrat version? Or the, the no, the Republican, version? Okay. right? That was that memo had been written and almost signed off on for at least a week or two. Right. Right? It was a two week gap between when it was written and when we knew about it, at least. Right? Mm -hmm. Every time the cotton picking Democrats did anything in the White House and the FBI and every place else it was leaked. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm Doesn't gonna, that bother I'm, you? I'm going to make a disclaimer here. I am a card-carrying member of the Republican Party. I just have a few problems with Donald J. Trump. Well, I think That's we have the connection. Is it we just, have just, a, not a Democrat, is it just as president, or is Democrats. it the Republican establishment? I think we have the talking about. I've got, I'm a card-carrying member of the Republican Party. I think we have the connections to excommunicate you from the Republican Party. <laughs> well, there, there, that has come up on Facebook. I don't think the Pope gets involved in that, Gary. Oh, excommunication. Yeah. Oh, we trying yeah. to. I'm trying to. I, mean, I think him. it's actually already happened. Uh, did it work? I'm trying to intimidate him. Okay. I don't know. I'll see him squirm. No, and the more the more I see him doing the things that he said he was going to do, even in spite of all the people working against him. I mean, if you go online on Facebook, I mean, they, they, they got him pegged as worse than Hitler. You know, and oh, then, I know. I know. You know well, <clears throat> those that do 
may need to refer to a thesaurus uh, or, or start with a dictionary on the definition of fascism and I work know. out from there. Yeah. See, no, you must agree Eric, with you're that. Eric, you're trying to present a rational argument against these people. I'm have just have offering them a <laughs> hammer if they have want to pound a the nail. There's no such thing as a rational argument with them. It's uh, all emotional. Not really. Not okay, really. I don't know if this is true today, but about a year ago, I looked up fascism on Google. Right. And fascism, according to Google, was a right-wing... Oh, nationalist, God. I'm not kidding you, Somebody's a right-wing nationalist party um, yeah. and some other stuff. Who wrote that definition? Exactly. Because <laughs> yep. everybody in here has enough history to know that, hit, that Hitler, or fascist was Mussolini, was a, a, a socialist. It's a takeover of Mussolini, government. Mussolini, Stalin, Hitler, the list goes on. All but it's socialists. A, it's a complete Gaddafi. takeover of, of the, gover the government taking over the private sector. That's what it is. It just become, but it, it just becomes another way of insulting uh, an opponent. You call him a fascist. Right, exactly. You call him a Nazi. Exactly, but yeah. but they don't know what the word means. It's a flawed appropriation of a term in the hands of chimps, you know. I mean, well, well I, I, I actually live the dichotomy. I wear a nice big Trump shirt down to Faneuil Hall or in San Francisco or someplace. And all of the peaceniks, all the people who are so much against violence, are the most violent people I've ever met. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I went from... Well, I they're, went they're from triggerable. Oh, <laughs> my. They, they, off, off the handle, I mean, they're ready to swing at you in mm -hmm. a second. Just, just the mere sight of... Of, of having a big letters Trump, you know, and they shouldn't have to look at it. When yeah. <laughs> hey, I want to say I went from New Hampshire to California with my Trump sticker on the back of my, uh, on, I had the uh, backpack on the back of the motorcycle. Yeah, oh, I like it. And I had yeah. the, my Trump sticker on the back, and I did not get killed once. Mm-hmm. Not even once. You know, but I get compliments. I got I got more compliments actually than than I did people who were angry. I used but to get tailgated in Massachusetts with my "Remember Benghazi" bumper sticker on the back yeah. of my oh. bike. <laughs> I have my I got a bumper sticker that says "Somewhere I was on a bike, in, so I was vulnerable." Somewhere in Kenya, it. a village is missing its idiot. So we're, Ooh, we're riding oh. through. Uh, but this is this See, is, it, so it, we're riding know, through. I did dairy at a carload of uh, high school girls pulls up next to the stop sign and they yell and I got my boys in the car. And you're, do you know that's racist? So yeah. we all start laughing. Yeah. That's true. The cell phones come out. They got to take pictures. Just so we end up on Facebook. I'm still looking. <laughs> yeah, see, that's seen as a race, racial slur. Oh, anything is racist. When, when no, it's I'm not, all you're doing is saying, oh, this person has lineage in this place, and yeah. I'm making an idiot joke. Yeah. That's you know all what, it is. You know what I find is that most of my university, that people don't know the difference between heritage and culture. Oh, oh, oh my culture is African-American. My culture is so, so it's, whatever your culture is. That's your heritage. Let me ask you Your culture is American. If you're an American, you're in this country, and you're a citizen here, your culture is American. No, your heritage might Irish. be your yeah. heritage might be somewhere else. No. But, you know, unless no, you're really born there. really isn't that much of an American culture, you know. But let me so ask I think you there is an American have culture. You, have you, have it's you, obvious when Americans went over there to war, seen, we saw the difference. Have you seen, Gary? I've seen Gary. People, people inside an administration turning on the leader. I mean, who did we get this week? Omarosa, right? What's Omarosa? Trump's been very good to Omarosa. Omarosa's She's, a drink, isn't it? No, it, it, she was right? the oh, Afro-American no, Afro. uh, outreach person. In the, in, she was like one of the highest paid people in the White House. Omarosa, you know who I'm talking about? No. She's a right-hand woman that, that's uh, got an office she, right next she's to She's an Afro-American woman the one that, that worked for yeah. Trump, and she was on The Apprentice. Okay. Okay. But it's not just her. Huh. There are other people making comments about your hero, right. Gary. We got, you, you got uh, Tillerson allegedly making comments that the guy is not, you know, too smart. Yeah, well, said the, it a little the, worse than that. Oh, that was, that was, and that also, was proper, I mean, that Okay, was see, MS the thing is, is. Well, how would anyone know that? How would, how would the mainstream media know that? You don't have to, just make it up. Oh, they make it up. Of course they can. Okay. They, they make up a lot of stuff. Did, did when they, I watched them on TV, they made up a lot of stuff. Are they making up what Flynn <laughs> is telling the special prosecutor? That's huh. the question you have to ask. No, no I don't have the to What does Flynn no. know, and how damaging is it? I don't think... I don't well, think just check the tapes. They are, if they bugged it, they got it from Trump Tower probably, anyway. You're, you're probably <laughs> right. They, know. they probably... They probably Issued a FISA warrant for Flynn. But just because I know you and you go off and you just get arrested for something that, you know, we all don't like, doesn't mean that we had something to do with it. 
What yeah. Is, what is your point here? My point is that if just because someone else that you're w working with does something wrong, you're not or is accused people of something are wrong. People are just accused. The thing is that everybody, you try to make everybody else responsible. No, no. You know, the, 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 and, and the thing is that if you do something, if my 19-year-old son goes out and, and, and uh, crashes his car, he did it. I didn't do it. It's the, my car, but he did it. The investigation, and we want to blame everyone else. The my investigation point. is trying to determine, this is the original reason, if there was Russian influence, and Russian cooperation. But there was Russian with influence. There always is. Any the way Trump they can campaign. online, they will. Oh, yeah, but there was a lot of Russian influence. As there isn't any. A, no, 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 no. Been. You had, you had uh, uh, Hillary Clinton. The Clinton Foundation received one and a half million or two million dollars from Bill. the Russians. Yep. Uh, Bill Clinton got a half a million <laughs> dollars from the Russians uh, to speak. And coincidentally, mm -hmm. w within a short time after the fact, she was a deciding vote on I the get Iranian it, Gary. one. But even but so, wait. I'm just saying. Yes, there is a Russian connection, but, but it's, it's 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 in with uh, Hillary Clinton. Okay, right. now this is exactly what the Trumpers do. What they say is they, this is exactly what they do. They say all of a sudden when they when they get a question they don't like, they say, "Well, the problem is the Democrats. The problem is Hillary Clinton." If Hillary Clinton is a crook, that doesn't mean that the Trump people are not. No, but I'm just saying, you, no. you keep saying there's a Russian connection. First, right. well, I that's agree. Where the real connection now, is. that was the charge. What get, Gary is saying is, is, a, Gary's I'm, saying I'm, is I'm, a real life version of those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. No, no, no. That's I, all. I what I, what I am saying it's irrelevant. Is, what I am saying is, A, I believe this entire Trump collusion crap is a diversion exactly. because they knew she had done it. That's right. So they wanted to make sure that by focusing on a Trump-Russian uh, connection, that it diverted attention away from what she was doing. That's where it started. People would say what he's no, and, I, now, and, I, and I'm saying, Gary, what you're doing is trying to change nope, the subject by nope, saying it's, a, it's really Hillary, I, not Donald. No, it I'm sounds to me like it's, it's one of the 12 the steps did, out of the Sal Alinsky manual as far as, as, far as uh, diversion. What, what, what he just said? Strategically, yeah. If somebody knows that they're going to be caught red-handed or that they are guilty and, and with enough investigation they'll be found it's out. It's not me, it's they, her. They just flip the best it. defense is a good offense. Yeah. You know, if, right. if I know it. that I'm... I just want to know the truth. No, here. if I'm running against... Over there. If, like, in, in this case, right. if I'm running against Frank Saperotto for state senate and I know that he just found a picture of me with a goat, okay, I'm going to find a pic... I'm going to fabricate a picture of him with a f chicken. Go. Oh, good example was my Senate race. Actually, it was, it was my Senate race. In but truth, you got a picture with you and a chicken? No, but 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 uh, for example, <laughs> to, uh, in order to hide, my opponent was pretended he, he was a Marine. I don't know. He said he was lieutenant colonel and wounded in Afghanistan, and he was a special ops, and he, he misplaced his discharge papers, everything. But he played that. That's how we got money from Walt Havenstein and got collected all this money by convincing him he was a, he was a, he was a, uh, uh, But all the time during the election, he's attacking me and personal issues before that when he was actually making up his entire entire, his entire, entire history story. really yeah and and the thing is this union leader knew that he was a phony marine that it was stolen valor weeks before that dan Tuggy at the union leader had the documents proving that he was why lying. didn't he do something he didn't say a word he asked him he says i <laughs> <laughs> wow. Who knows? Who knows? But if it wasn't for social media, which four days before the election got that out, because at the time you had uh, former Senator Eternal calling everybody saying, we know it's not true, but don't vote for him anyway. I, I mean, that was what was going on. It was complete diversion. Yeah, the, thing, the thing is, huh? well, we're kind of we're in the weeds here. No, no. How long have sitting state reps, all sitting state reps, had this fixation with barnyard animals, by the way, by extension? Well, since now that bill really came in, in that. Uh, <laughs> now we're really in the weeds. Here's another thing that bothers me. All right. Yeah. About, about Donald Trump. Uh, uh, we don't know what the special process is. it the size got. of his hands, Jeff? No. Is that what bothers no. you? No, you it's not about his truth. hands. It's not about he's very his, effete. His his neck, <laughs> you know, with the you know the the kind of turkey thing. You know, it's not about that. No, it's about how insulting Donald is uh, with other people. We know that, right? He insults people, right? Well, he's just well, not. This, he's, we're telling the truth. I guess you'd say that. Well, Jeff he's Bush just said it best. It like you it can't is. insult your way to the White but House. But you know, the Apparently one person he, <laughs> he has never sure. attacked is Putin and Russia. And and actually, they made him look pretty bad. Because a lot of these meetings... Well, if you their, pay attention to what he done, he hasn't yes. attacked hardly any foreign leaders except That's little right. Kim. That's right. 
That's oh, right. Oh, yeah. He knows to keep your keep your friends close and your enemies closer. He's a smart businessman. He knows how to negotiate. Well, he attacks countries. He hasn't said too much he negative has not, about Russia. He hasn't said anything against... Well, Mexico, almost, how about China? Remember that? Currency manipulator, Mexico. They're he taking, said no. They're never, taking he never the criticized That wasn't personal. Yeah. He said they were a currency manipulator. He didn't attack the person. The point I'm making is he has, he has never uttered one negative word about a country led by basically a mafia leader, Vladimir Putin. It's widely known that that country is a kleptocracy run by organized crime. Right. The entire country. Maybe, uh, well, according to Trump, Pick your the deep state runs this country, so maybe we're run by organized okay, so, crime as well. So why right. would he attack him? What would be the point? What would be the point, right? Well, it's, I'm not saying that he should attack him. I'm just saying I noticed that he didn't. And in every administration... Hillary Clinton or, was saying we're going to reset... What did she say? We have reset the reset the button. Yeah. And she freaking screwed that up super bad. She was always sucking up to that guy. What, Obama who? was up there off, off mic going... Once the election's over, so we can exactly work something out. Exactly, we can work something out. We Don't heard, worry. We heard that right out of his mouth. Yeah. Once I, during my second term, that's when we can get get active yep. on this thing. Yeah, get so active was, on what? He Whatever. Was, he was cutting they, a deal with right. a, uh, an ambassador. President Trump is using his strategic, it's smart strategic. He uses strategic. He knows what his objective is. He knows what yeah. our problems are. And the problem, the immediate problem right now, is North Korea, not Russia. So what he's doing now is he's picking his battles. We can't take on the whole world at the same time. And we need help in these things. And you don't get help by pissing somebody off, by, by insulting their leader. So he's not doing that. Like the FBI, but, the CIA. but North Korea, yes, he's going to get tough with. And he's going to show them that we can be just as tough as you. If you want to you know, point, point guns at you us, we can point guns at you. We don't get by attacking the Correct. leaders. That's true. Okay, right. then explain to me why Donald Trump has attacked the Republican leadership in the House in the Senate, the Republican senator who took over the Justice Department, the number two guy who took, who is the deputy uh, uh, he, in charge of the Justice Department. They blow this out of proportion. When you see a, a Republican comment, FBI director. They blow it out of proportion. Mitch McConnell, the Republican leadership. Jeff Flake, he's attacked many of them. Jeff. Corker, little Bob Corker, remember that? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're going to tell me that you never have an argument with people? people that you, I mean... <laughs> People love their husbands and wives, but they're going to the have Republican an argument. Establishment. And if you had a media that blows it out of proportion to make it sound like it's World War Three, of I, course I, you're going to have well, that. Yeah, they're going to sell eyeballs Marco, and airwaves. Little sure. Marco, that was Low awesome. energy jet. Oh, yeah, that was super cool. Hey, Car yeah. Carly, I don't want to look at that face for the next four years, Fiorina. Yeah. I mean, this guy is not shy I know, I know. about insulting people. Yeah, yeah. That's he's what from, we voted yeah, for. He's from for. downtown Manhattan. He'll tell so. like it is. No. I want somebody who's going to tell But the thing so, is... Like is, it, not like it, this is who you get. I agree with you. Got, yeah. Okay, I agree. That's why I voted for Ted Cruz, okay? In the primary. In the primary. Okay. But what I noticed in that primary... Rand Paul over here. ...was Thank this... And, and this is why he won. His willingness to attack no matter what won him the election because right. if you remember romney when he was going against obama had him on the ropes and then backed, backed off, off. Yep. he didn't want to he yep. didn't want to offend anybody why do you think lincoln hired grant romney did pretty well in that first debate he did he did he did in the he... second debate he 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 made some mistakes but we're not talking well about admitting romney. that you enjoy firing believe people me, is a great me. sound i'm just saying people, I, I, many people in the republican party that would love to have romney in the white house anyway right so I, I understand I like that. That's because the establishment the can manage him more easily. But that, that aggressiveness. Which side are you on with your new haircut and everything? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> don't, don't you use on? the words hair and cut in the here. same sentence with me. I'm every, every corner of this table. It's <laughs> ridiculous. No, but you're saying that Trump is somehow foolish for challenging uh, entrenched uh, – Bureaucrats. Entrenched bureaucrats in a uh, establishment that's established obviously politician. not following a Republican ethos, obviously not even following the platform half the time, and you're you're complaining about the notion that Trump's I'm calling him out on this. To, to what Frank said about you don't attack the leadership because you're not going to get okay. So anyway, that's what I'm be that we, as it may, before we run out of time, so if theoretically you were going to actually. Have a bet. Have a bet mm -hmm. on this. Theoretically, allegedly, how much would that be for? Well, well, I already started it. Good. If Origin it were to originally happen. Originally, it was going to be for a small sum. And then, you know, after four or five drinks, I, I, 
I, I mean one or two drinks. Uh, I said, well, let's make it for ten. When you 000. say drinks, ten thousand like dollars. Size no. or no? Yeah, the size. I, I don't want to comment on the size, but no. Uh -huh. But uh, I, I wasn't said, drinking. We'll make it ten thousand dollars. And you know what this I was guy said? He said, listen, I'll match that. And I got clients that want a piece of this too, and we can go to a million. I had a, I've been first. But then I finally sobered up, and I realized that I well, was actually, you know, I could lose this thing. So this right, happens right. on and it December thirty first. Um, Ten thousand dollars. It's a lot easier than writing down "Make America Great Again" on your Facebook post. Well, you know, I still like that. I said, let's get a little border with this. I think I like that. Attitude. I've been That's winning. You've got to do. That's I've what been he's winning. Do if you win. I've been winning. <laughs> you declined, didn't you? I have been winning so much. I've gotten sick of winning. Oh yeah, oh, me really? too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm waiting as so a winner. Anyway, you, you, I'm waiting for Trump to get that special prosecutor on Hillary Clinton because okay. I'd like to see that witch in a cell along with her husband. Oh yeah, me too. But anyway, yep. so so you're one of those that sports so the bumper sticker if, Hillary for prison. If there was an, yeah. Yeah. if right. you guys were going to gamble, and we know it's it's pro, it's illegal, so we're not going to do that. But if you were, how much would the what is the number? Uh, exactly. My not, mind is going blank just thinking about come on, what could go wrong with this bet. It can't go wrong. <laughs> and when does the bet? When does the bet end? It, December thirty first. Well, the way the way theoretically you, you possibly like could yeah. do okay. it was, set a would be for us to be to gift you, January 20th, give you, to give you ten thousand. Oh, January twentieth. Yeah, it'd be and January twentieth, the two two thousand. The day of inauguration. Right, be, yeah, yeah. it would be. Yeah. What you do a term deposit if he makes that would it mature. The term, that would be. That it. would mature at that particular time, requiring two signatories on the on the exchange and the uh, uh -huh. uh, the account number and one social. Well, account. the thing is, you got to have a Gifting you got to have a backup plan in case in case. Yeah, the worst happens. Something happens to either one of you because that's two year and a half. Well, that's right. You make it with that's joint right. cancer survivorship. I'm 72. If, you I, know, if, I, mean, I, if I kick off, then I leave them. Then you guys, the, the money goes over there to the other person, and you'd be the arbiter for that as the executor on an estate. He would act the same way in the other way. But joint cancer. No, I don't trust him. This is not a wait decision. a minute. We made the other one that brought up. We the other one that's wait a wait a minute. You know this guy is a he's a him. genuflecting Republican. He's not gonna. He's he, and he's I a Trumper. He's not known, gonna side with me. Honorable Gary now for more than he might take. And a half, he might and take the money and go to he Florida. Has never, Who knows? He has never broken his word to me ever. He has never lied to me. He's been honorable since the day I met him. Yeah. Well, what What would I expect you to say, Frank? What would I expect you to well, say? Well, ask me about another legislator. <laughs> 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 so anyway, okay. I'm still worried about this barnyard animal thing. Yeah, I know. Anyway, you should be. On. You should yeah, be. I really am. So anyway. Glad I got out when I did. Well, if, one of his, if he's accused of sexual assault, we could put that in there too, I suppose. With a goat? What? In a moat? Well, no, then you have to make odds because you could always pick another animal. Mm -hmm. oh, Gary, I, I, I have a question <laughs> for you. <laughs> and, I, and, and I know you're a, a, a religious person. Yes. You're a religious Christian. You, yes. I assume you go to church yes, pretty I much do. every week. Yeah. Uh, doesn't it bother you some of the uh, some of the, uh, the things that uh, you know the, all this uh, divorce, uh, the womanizing thing with Trump? Yeah. Doesn't that bother you? Of course it does. That's what but I. But you know what thought. bothers me a lot worse? What is somebody that would leave that many uh, military guys in Benghazi? You know there what really bothers me is somebody who would make a deal with the Russian government and sell 20% of the nation's uranium supplies to the Russian government. Somebody that's that corrupt, that, that perverse, yep. bothers me a whole lot more Absolutely. than somebody who can't keep his wiener in his, in his pants. Right. Okay. I didn't hire him to be a nice okay. guy. And and also the question I asked you guy. was about Donald Trump's morality, not Hillary Those Clinton's. were the choices. I'm with you on Hillary Clinton. Those were the two choices. I don't know if you no, knew I there was any other choices. Oh. Okay, oh, so you're in a vacuum. That, you're saying that, that Trump was the lesser of two evils. A lot lesser a of lot two A lot lesser evils. of the two evils, absolutely. And did you see years. that girl with the hooker? She was pretty good looking. You mean the porn star? Whatever. That's not is. a hooker. This is, a, this is a, an actual. If you right. get paid. There's a difference. If you get paid to do something with somebody... I mean, sure. You don't believe her? I don't know. I don't care. You don't care? I don't really care. So you're, you are you don't think that a, a president, it, let's say it happened. Worst right. case, it happened. Happened in G Kennedy, and Kennedy G handled the Cuban Missile Hey, can I finish great. the paragraph no. here? No. That's why I hate coming on this show. That's why I hate it. They don't let you finish. But let's he keeps assume coming it back, happened. folks. He keeps Doesn't coming back. Doesn't it bother you that a guy who's president of the United States right. would engage in behavior when that would allow We're him to be. We're talking about Kennedy. 
that would allow him to be blackmailed, which is basically what it was. Yeah, I mean, when was one hundred and thirty thousand dollars for the blackmail money. Two, I believe. I no, no, not that. When was the alleged? Well, no, the money was paid no, while, during I, I the campaign. Said, when was a porn star? When was that? When it was his inter- oh, well, long before he was in office. Oh, yeah. But that's okay. Uh, but no, no. How, how long ago? Two thousand. Five, six, oh, come on. Seven, something like that. Okay, right. so it was way before. So you're one of the richest running. guys in New York City. You've built your career in New York City, which is a city that's predicated on an amoral environment. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. you're fussing about the fact that this guy Wait may have made I'm, it with a f- I was born in New York City. Well, hello. <laughs> well, if you were welcome. It didn't look like an amoral environment. I don't to need me. the media to tell me what's important. All right, maybe, I'll determine maybe that just, word like, might be a just little like Gary did. But you know what's what important, saying. and you were right. Hey, That's wait, what wait, is wait. important. Before we close, I got to tell you. So, uh, it's been a Valentine's Day, and so what There's I a lot did, of love in the room, Gary. A lot. It's Valentine's Day. Are you going to send me a card with a goat on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day, and I was always told that if you know to keep your romance alive, you should always treat your wife like you when you first met her. Oh, really? Yeah. So I took her out to dinner, oh, right? Okay. And then I dropped her off at her parents after. Oh, I was going to say, I thought you had her pay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll see you guys That's a corny week. joke. <laughs> <laughs>